All right, so you saw in the last video, we continued to flesh out our chromosome class, and we talked about the um, crossover operation. In this video, I'm going to talk about mutation. Uh, before I do that, I want to introduce this um, TSB utils thing that I talked about in the last class. It should be very straightforward. Uh, it's just basically going to be a helper method. Uh, it's going to be where our helper methods reside. So we're just basically going to say, um, let's say private, final, static, random. We're going to need some random, a random number generator is equal to new, random. And we're going to give it a uh, consistent seed so we get the same random number sequences every time we execute the program. Otherwise, we would get, you know, Java would base it on, the seed would be based on like the time and the process and all that stuff. Uh, we don't want to, we don't want to do that. We want it to be deterministically random. Uh, so we'll say, um, and we'll say static final TSP gene array cities is equal to generate data. And we're going to give it, let's say, 100 cities to generate. Right, so we don't have this method doesn't exist yet. Right, and um, so before we flesh that out, let's go even further. Let's say, let's make private uh, TSP utils. Let's say row new runtime exception. You can instantiate this class. No, just has helper methods on it. Um, so a couple methods I want on here: static and random index final and limit so you're going to get a random number between zero and that we'll just say return r dot next int limit all right so I'll just get a random number between let's say zero and limit um, or zero and limit minus one sorry we want a method on here called static t this is probably the most sophisticated method on here list of t uh, array. This is going to do the split operation for us. Third-party libraries can do this for you if you want, or you can just roll your own. That's what I chose to do here. Um, so we're just going to take a list and we're going to split it into two equal pieces. Final list of t first is equal to new list and final list of t second is equal to new array list. And then we're just going to say final int size is equal to list.size. And let's use some Java 8 syntax in stream.rangeOver 0 and size and say for each um, 1, if i is less than size plus 1 my divided by 2, then first dot add list dot get i else second dot add list dot get i and that should be it really and then after that we're just going to say return as a list of t array a list of t array new list of first second that should be it okay so um, let's talk about generating data real quick uh, let's just say final tsp gene array of data is equal to new TSP gene array, and we'll say, uh, we'll call this num data points, and for in i equals zero, i less than num data points i plus plus, and we'll say data of i is equal to new TSP gene, and we'll say TSP utils.randomindex of world.width and 
tspreadles.randomindex of world.height. So all we're going to do is basically create data uh, within the Cartesian coordinate, a random index on the Cartesian coordinate. Right? That's all we're going to do. And we're just going to say return data. So now we can do that. That should address our compiler issues there. TSP utils. Um, okay, so I think our TSP utils class is now done, and we just need to start to define the mutation operation. The mutation operation is actually a lot simpler than crossover, right? And notice that crossover didn't um, actually modify the first or the second, or, or excuse me, yeah, the the, the the original sequence, it actually created two new ones that were returned, right? So um, that's what we did there. So here we're going to return one new one. So we're going to say for final list of TSP gene copy is equal to new array list, this dot chromosome. We're going to copy it and say int index a is equal to TSP utils dot random index copy dot size int let's make this final final actually no we can't make this final we'll see why in a second int index b is equal to tsp utils dot random index copy dot size again right and we're going to say while index a is equal to index b then index A is equal to TSP utils dot random index copy dot size, right? And same thing with B. Oh, it looks like my box is not going to die soon. Okay, and then we're just going to say um, collections dot swap on the copy of index A and B. Use collections library to help us here swap the two indices. So we're going to make one small change in a given chromosome, right? We're going to change two uh, cities in our traversal and we're going to say return new TSP chromosome. Copy. That's all we're going to do. We're just going to swap two indexes. That's all mutation does. So now uh, we have covered uh, mutation and crossover.